Hello everyone, it's Cobra and today I will be reviewing the movie A Quiet Place 2. So the original cast is back and joined by Cillian Murphy. I've seen the first one on Netflix but having the cinematic surround sound around you in a movie like this is mental. This movie heavily relies on sound as a form of building tension. After all, too much noise means these monster fuckers will come down and kill you or come up from the surface of the earth and just bloody implode and give you a heart attack. Then I jump back from my seat, uh, almost drop all the popcorn and scream and everyone in the cinema turns around and looks at you because you are just having a panic attack at this movie which is how you know that's a good horror if it can generally scare you instead of just giving you jump scares and this movie is genuinely scary the silence that would normally seem uneasy is the opposite of that in this film because it's a noise that's dangerous the silence makes you feel at ease which is an interesting twist and i really like the way they've done that also, having a deaf character, who is, by the way, played by a deaf actress, is integral to the plot. An awesome way to switch between hearing perspectives. It's all about the hearing in this movie. It's all about the sound. And seeing this in a cinema enhances that with the surround sound. But it wouldn't be enough. So let's talk about the characters. I don't know the names of the characters themselves, but the actors and actresses, because um, they don't really have a lot of dialogue in this movie, so there's not a whole lot of names said. But Noah's character um, is basically, he was my favourite in the first one, didn't really get much done in this one, but there are reasons that I won't spoil for that. Um, obviously you have Reagan's character, the deaf character, who is really important and she the the plot of this movie is that she needs to go to this place i can't really say much about without spoilers so yeah but cillian murphy accompanies her and cillian murphy in this movie obviously he wasn't in the original he's in this one though um this continues from the first one however the first scene of the movie was a prequel and we get to see how this whole thing sort of came together, like how it all started and what everyone was doing when it started. And it's really interesting. They also have this whole, the, the American Sign Language is used a lot more than actual dialogue in this movie due to the fact that they can't really talk, which I do find interesting. Um, obviously... You know, for deaf people and all that, it's going to be an interesting perspective and seeing something different. I remember this whole thing about the first one as well. The first 40 minutes didn't have dialogue on the first one. Um, but in this one, it, it does from the bat. So, yeah, they still use the sound system, which I was worried that they would screw up in the second one, but they didn't and they got it all right. Although, in my opinion, the first one wasn't that great. This one was absolutely amazing. So, yeah, there's this whole boat situation which becomes pinnacle obviously at the end of the first one they figured out how they can kill these fuckers so that becomes more of a heavy theme in this movie with them want to kill these um, monster fuckers I don't, I don't think they actually have any I call I call them like temas or something I don't know why it's just like you know that's just what I call them um so like I'll call them temas in this review as well the temas um, we've got the whole hearing thing, and it really looks freaky. You know, like the way there's massive ear, because them creatures are blind, they can't see, but they have super hearing, and they come towards you, and it's just so damn freaky it is. Really. This is a suspense movie. The suspense pays off really well, though. It always, with movies like this, um, you know, you've either got the suspense will either... Oh, that's it. That was disappointing. Or, oh, that was amazing. This is the latter of that. And everything comes together in a in a way that was very satisfying to me. Although, I do wish that the stakes were a little bit higher in terms of... I kind of felt like in some scenes I was like, right, well, we're like half well for into the movie. They're going to kill off that character. Now, if they had of, that would have absolutely shook me on a different level. But they didn't. And so I knew, I, I was expecting that they wouldn't and they didn't. And that kind of killed a bit of the um, suspense. But I kind of forgot about that when some of the 
more pinnacle scenes were happening, such as the house term of coming up and all that. So yeah, that's that. But um, I don't think you'll have listened to my review. I don't really know what I can say, but it's just the sound is so amazing. The cinematography is decent, but everything is just in the sound, right? It's just, it's pretty much like you have to watch this movie and just silence right and just watching the cinema is a perfect place to do that and especially the cinema i went to was very quiet and that kind of you know fits in with the theme of the movie so that was great i give this movie a 9 out of 10 um so thank you all for watching my review like i say i don't really know what to say in these things half the time i just kind of whatever's on my mind after i see a film i'll do it um there's expect a lot more reviews coming out. I'm on holiday, so I can just work on these reviews. I expect a lot more reviews coming out in the following weeks. Ace has got some stuff coming up as well, and we hope to see you all around the channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.